Hey, Scott. Hey, Rebecca. I hear we're playing a game show today. We are playing a game today. I came with my game show hair. Is this your game show hair? Well, because I heard that we were going to be looking at celebrities when they were little. Yeah. And I have a picture of me with pigtails. Oh, yeah. And then you have the one cross eye. <laughs> In that picture, you have one crossed eye. I guess I did have a crossed eye. <laughs> you kind of did. <laughs> so, I decided to wear my hair in pigtails in honor of our celebrity game. Okay. Do you like it? You've got. You've literally got your game hair on. I think we should bring this look means... back, ladies. Really? Kind of. Okay. I kind of like it. You look, you look nice. Thanks. <laughs> You're very pretty. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Are you ready to play this game? I'm ready. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. And you can play along at home as well. We are going to put up a picture of a celebrity, either like as a baby or a very young kid. And I'm going to let Rebecca look at it, give her a moment to digest the picture, and then see if she can guess who the well-known celebrity is. I will also give her a clue or two. Like it'll be some of them I'll try to make very generic, and then a couple of them I have more personal clues because it's someone that... Maybe we've interacted with or something like that. Okay. So, okay, are y'all ready to play? Yeah. So they're gonna see it too. They're gonna see it too. And I'm. And they're gonna be trying to guess. They're gonna try to guess it before you and try to get it right. All right. Okay. Gladiators ready? (laughs) Yes. Okay. That's from American Gladiators. You need to YouTube that if you don't know what it is. You say contenders ready? Gladiators ready? I thought it's contestants. Is it contenders? Maybe it's it's contenders. contenders. Okay, we'll have to find that out later. I have to YouTube that. (laughs) Okay, are you ready for your first picture? I am. Okay, your first picture for celebrity match game. (laughs) Are you nervous? I'm so nervous. I'm actually kind of terrible at this. Okay, here's the first one. Oh. (laughs) Wow. Okay, do you want your clue? Yes. This first person is so super friendly. That she says hello to everyone. She is so friendly that she says hello to everyone. Okay. Friendly, I'm going with friends. Someone from friends. Hey, you talk it through. You, you. I don't think. Take yourself through your process. Is this Jennifer Aniston? I don't know why she would say hello. No, that's Adele. Are you sure? Is that your final answer? Hello, Adele. Okay. Yes. Are you ready to find I'm out? I'm ready. I'm ready. And the answer is Adele. Good job. Nice, nice. job. Right, I'm proud of you. you whew. Only 100 more to go. No, I'm kidding. Great. There's not that many. Okay. Do you want a clue on this one? Yep. I know who that is. He likes long walks and hugs name. in the rain. Yeah. I, I mean, it's... Hold on. Give people at home a moment. Even though you seem no, uber I, confident. The problem is I don't know his name, but I know who he is. Okay. He likes long walks and hugs in the rain. Right. His name, I think, is Ryan, right? Is his first name Ryan? I don't remember, but he was in the notebook. Okay. And Gosling? Ryan Is that your final answer? Gosling, is that right? But he was also in, you know, he was in um, Remember the Titans. He's the one that danced like this. Well, we don't know who it is yet. Okay. Is that your guess? Yes. Okay. And you're right again. Oh, yes, Ryan Gosling. Yeah. (laughs) Nice. Wow. And he was. He was the one, he's the one that's dancing yeah. in the locker room, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Rebecca. You are two for two. Not usually. Okay, this is a little Which one's the It is who? in this picture is the kid sitting on the head. Okay. 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 Or sitting on the shoulders, leaning on the head. Okay. The clue here is he's a politician from Hawaii and he's a pretty good basketball player. A politician from Hawaii who's a pretty good basketball player. I don't know. What do you think at home? Who could this be? A politician from Hawaii who's a good basketball player. I have no idea. (laughs) No? Are you sure? Does does Barack Obama play basketball? Is that going to be your answer? This is so tense. It feels like a real game show. That's my answer. I don't know. Okay. And the answer is... Barack what? Obama. <laughs> <laughs> he plays basketball? He's a very good basketball player. He had a gym built at the White House, and he would have NBA players come in. Who He's knew? a pretty good player. 
Okay. Yep. Whose head is he sitting on? That's his dad. Okay. They're at the beach. All right. Okay. I'm three for three right now. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to me. You weren't quite as confident on that one. Oh, okay. She's cute. Who is this cute little It's girl? a cute picture, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. She has been a Tomb Raider, a spy, and a tiger. She's been a Tomb Raider, a spy. That's Angelina Jolie. And a tiger. Angelina Jolie. I'm going to give the people at home just a moment. Are you sure that's your final answer? Well, Mrs. Smith, she was a spy. Okay. Obviously, she was a Tomb Raider. I don't know when she was a tiger. Oh, yes, I do. Kung Fu Panda. Oh, very good. <laughs> well, it is Angelina Jolie. <laughs> nice job. Let's get you lots of high fives here. Yes. I know. Yeah. Can we turn this myth into history and who is the celebrity? <laughs> because I'm clearly much better at this game. Okay. Here's the clue on this one. Do you think you have it already? Yeah. Wow. Okay. He's endured a shipwreck. He's been mauled by a bear. And he has performed corporate espionage without lifting a finger. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to give, wait? Just give it a moment. I'm going to say the clues one more time. He's endured a shipwreck. He's been mauled by a bear. And he's performed corporate espionage without lifting one finger. Matt Damon. What is it? Matt Damon. Is that your final answer? Isn't that his name? Yeah. Are you sure? Do you want to hear the clue again? No. Okay. Am I wrong? <laughs> Wait, is that his name? The guy from I, I Bought a Zoo. Is that his name? Can you just tell me if that's the main guy and I Bought a Zoo? Yes, that is the main okay, guy and I Bought a Zoo. Okay, that's I think that is. Okay. And the answer is Leo DiCaprio. What? I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. What? Because I was thinking... It didn't wasn't there a bear that was kind of after him and we bought a zoo? Didn't he? Wasn't he the born identity? So I thought that was the whole espionage oh, business. Okay. And then I don't remember what the other one was. But okay. Was... Well, the clues were he endured a shipwreck, which is the Titanic. Mm. He was mauled by a bear, which was Ribnet, which is recent. I don't think we ever saw that one. I don't know about that one. And the corporate espionage without lifting a finger is Inception. Oh. Um, remember, he was getting inside their dreams to find out their corporate yeah. secrets. Okay. Okay. I failed on this one. Okay, I'm going to still give you a high five, though. I don't deserve it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Here's the clue on this one. When he was growing up in England, he could have never dreamed he'd be the most famous detective and most famous doctor in the world. Yes, Watson. Okay. <laughs> Do you think you know the answer? Yes. Okay. Who do you got, Rebecca? Doctor Strange. What's his real name? Benedict Cumberbatch. Very good. There you go. Benedict Cumberbatch. Nice. Know. This is a real high five. This is, You burned that one? I didn't earn the okay. last one. That okay. Was, that was a pity one. Okay. This is the next crew. Clue. Crew. Crew? Um, he learned the facts of life when he was really young, and now the world is his ocean. Mm-hmm. He learned the facts of life when he was really young, and now the world is his ocean. It's all right there in front yes, of you. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Is it in front of you, Rebecca? It Are is. you seeing clearly? I'm seeing over clearly. the yes ocean view. I'm seeing clearly. Wait, wait. I believe one of his relatives, <laughs> Rosemary, is speaking to me. Oh, really? <laughs> It's turned Rose into a seance. Rosemary Clooney. <laughs> oh, wow. Because okay. that's George Clooney. Okay, very good. <laughs> oh, wow. And Rosemary Clooney was his aunt. Very good. <laughs> because he was, in Facts of Life, was his first role. Be kind in this picture. The f I'm going back to our last one so people know what the clues were. You need to hurry before I say something <laughs> really rude. Not, not, be calm. <laughs> He learned the facts of life. He, that was his first major role was being in Facts of Life, the TV oh. show. Mm -hmm. And the world is now his ocean. He played Danny Ocean in the Ocean 11 movies. Yeah. Ocean 11, 11 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Here's your next one, Rebecca. Are you ready? I need you to be, <laughs> I need you to be on your best behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try really hard. Okay. Okay. So this person is a member of the royal family who died way too young. Unfortunately, another he, one bites died. the dust. He died. I can't make fun of him. 
<laughs> well, I'm glad you didn't. God. Let me give the clue again. A member of the royal family who died way too young. Unfortunately, another one bites the dust. Who's saying another one bites the dust? I don't He's know. He's a member of the royal family who died too young. Another one bites the dust. I just would like to know why he has tomato teeth in. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you couldn't help yourself, could you? <laughs> I don't know who that is. And he's actually from Tanzania, which is a interesting fact as well. I Do you have any have clue? No. Who who sang Another One Bites the Dust? I can't remember. Another One Bites the Dust. I know the song. I roller skated to it every dun, 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 all the time. Dun, 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 who sang that song? Dun, 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 dun. If I tell you who sang it, you'll know who this is. Was it Queen? It was yes. Queen. Oh, is this Freddie Mercury? Yes, what? very good. Oh it's my Freddie God. Mercury. And we're going to keep going. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to give you too much time to think. Okay. Smart. Oh, what a cutie. This little cutie was very a very friendly girl. And despite this picture, everyone wants her hairstyle. <laughs> okay. So she's a very friendly girl. Oh, well, then that must be Jennifer Aniston. And everyone wants their hairstyle. Jennifer her, Aniston. Her hairstyle. It doesn't look like her. I wouldn't know her from that picture, but friendly and hairstyle, and you gave me Jennifer Aniston. Because Anderson. how many people have come into your salon wanting that hundreds, the hairstyle? Hundreds. Over the years. Hundreds. Even now? Do they still do it? The shag is coming back. So she's back in style. She's, they don't bring me pictures of her because her shag is her shag is needs to be a little like modernized. Yeah. But that everybody. How do you modernize to, a shag? A center part, first of all. Yeah. Instead of a side part. And it's all quite a bit more layered around the face. Most of them now have bangs. Okay. So your final answer is Jennifer Aniston? Sure. And you're right. She looks like she's trying to fly. <laughs> <laughs> looks like she's trying to fly to me. Okay. Very good, Rebecca. Thank you. Okay, here's your next one. He has endured the death of little Sebastian. And he caused the end of the world... Because he got mad at his girlfriend's dad. Mm. He that. endured the death of little Sebastian. Mm -hmm. And he caused the end of the world because he got mad at his girlfriend's dad. Thanos. So who do you think it is? I mean, it's kind of hard to get mad at Thanos. He kind of holds all the jewels. I was going to say cards. Stones. He holds okay, all the stones. You're getting in dangerous territory here. <laughs> well, he has all the stones. <laughs> okay, on gotcha. Stones. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt? Mm -hmm. Is that your final answer? I think so. Very good. Woo! Kind of the same smile, yeah. but still not doesn't look a whole lot like him. Okay, very good, Rebecca. You've only missed two, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe one. Maybe just one. We'll have to review later. Okay. Oh no, I've missed two. You've missed two. Well, I got Freddie Mercury after another hint. Yeah. But really, I missed Leonardo DiCaprio. That's right. Okay. You thought it was Matt Damon. Okay. Believe it or not. She was born like this and grew up to be a very talented lady. Mm. She was born like this and she grew up to be a very talented lady. Mm -hmm. What's your guess? I mean, is it my turn because I'm trying to keep my poker face? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how you wake up, Lady Gaga? Poker face. Poker face, yeah. I think that's your answer, isn't it? Lady Gaga. Yeah, very good. Good job, Becky. Good job. Turkey. Okay. Turkey. Wait. Turkey. Yeah. Wait, no. Turkey. Turkey. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at this fine young man. Okay. Nice shirt. Mm -hmm. Um, he grew up to be known for his amazing parkour abilities and his fabulous hair shampoo. That <laughs> <laughs> you got taken up at the airport. Yep, we're gonna explain that clue. <laughs> but mainly focus on he was known. He's known for his amazing parkour, mm -hmm. like he's like a stuntman kind of guy, but like real famous. Yeah, it's Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. You knew I had to have Jackie Chan in there. <laughs> okay, I've got to explain the shampoo real quick. Mm -hmm. When I was in China, I've been to China twice. The first time I found Jackie Chan shampoo, like in this village marketplace, and I was like, I've got to have this. So I buy it. We get to the airport. I messed up and I put it in my carry-on instead of my rookie mistake. Instead of my check bag. You act like you don't travel all the time. I know, I know. It was a bad moment, and they took my Jackie Chan shampoo because I left it in my carry-on. They took it. So fast forward, gosh, 
three or four years. Mm -hmm. Got to go to China again. I'm in a random village That's out in the cool. middle of nowhere, close to the near the Himalayas. I find I find Jackie Chan shampoo in this random store. Mm -hmm. I gobble it up. I bring it home in my check bag. It is sitting in my office right now. We have it. Jackie Chan shampoo. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I would like to apologize that to everyone. was good. <laughs> Thank you. In honor of Jackie Chan. Okay. okay. So here's your next one. Oh, I think I know. Do you think you know? I think so. Okay. She never leaves the house without an umbrella. Mm -hmm. And always tells the Uber driver to shut up and drive. <laughs> so she never leaves home without an umbrella. Ella. Ella. And she always tells the Uber driver... To shut up and drive. Mm -hmm. What you got? Rihanna. Rihanna. You're right. Good job. She, yeah, she looks the same. I, I thought that was easy. Okay. Now this one, I'll let you look at it. Okay. Kind of an older picture probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. He hates snakes. Mm -hmm. And he hates it when people call him Junior. So he hates snakes, and he hates it when people call him Junior. Okay. Does he like treasure hunting? Maybe. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford? Is yes. that your final answer? Yes. Are you sure? Do you want to call a friend? Ah! I'm kidding. Okay. It's Harrison Ford. Yay! And of course, that's the Indiana Jones. He hates snakes in that movie, and he hates it when his dad... John Connery calls him Junior. Mm, I didn't really know that okay. part. But Rebecca. The snake. Am I done? We, no, we have one more left. Ooh. You've only missed one. You're amazing. Like okay. Wow. Okay. Interesting hairdo. What do you think about that hairdo? Well, it was popular at a time. Like when Bo Derek was around and yeah. everybody got those braids. I okay. mean, I didn't, but a lot of people did. Okay. Here you go. Here's your final clue, Rebecca. Okay. I'm going to let you take that picture in. She makes big news when she breaks up with her boyfriend and leaves her scarf behind. She makes big news when she breaks up with her boyfriend and leaves her scarf behind. Is that Taylor Swift? Is that what you're thinking? Work through your process here. Leaves her scarf behind? Yep. Yeah. I mean, what you're just saying to me sounds like Taylor Swift lyrics. Okay. But I don't know those lyrics. But she is always writing songs about her breakups. I'm going with Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, final sure. answer? Sure. When did I turn into Regis Philman all of a sudden? Final answer? <laughs> I should start screaming and yelling. Rebecca, Taylor Swift. What? You're so good. Okay. Okay, you haven't heard recently but in the news is she wrote a song about this scarf that she left at a boyfriend's house, yeah. who's now an ex-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I think she had like 12, like a dozen ex-boyfriends. Yeah. She left the scarf behind, and apparently she thinks that the boyfriend, ex-boyfriend probably still has it. And the rumor is it's Jake Gillenhall. Gillenhall. Gillenhall, yeah. yeah. So that's the big rumor right now. Okay, but she wrote this song a long time ago called All Too Well. And yeah. there's a remake. She's like she's remade so it. So what like she did it. was she remade all these this all these songs because it has something to do with the royalties and how she was getting like who yeah. was in charge of that. I think like so she she had to read cut them in a ex, remix extended versions and so that is like a ten minute song just surpassed the number one longest song ever on the charts surpassing. Oh my gosh, what song was it? American Pie. By who sings that? Don McLean. Don McLean. Yes, yeah. it passed that as the number one all-time longest song. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. And that's all too well. And it's, I think they say it's written about the Jake guy. Didn't know anything about a scarf, but I haven't watched the 10-minute long video, so maybe yeah. if I did that, I would know about the scarf. Apparently, there's a scarf that he stole or kept or something. Oh, so. scandalous. There you go. I know. Okay. Okay, Rebecca Hardy, you did so good in your first celebrity match game. Thanks. But next time, do I have to wear my hair like this? You can wear your hair whichever way I you think do. every time we do this, I'll wear my hair like Well, that. you have to because, like, we were just talking to Jake. We just watched the Cowboy game, which they lost. Mm. Jake has been wearing his Dak Prescott jersey two games in a row. They've lost two in a row. So I don't think he's going to wear it next time. So this is my So I think you do here. have to. Until you lose, you got to go that way. 
Oh, okay. I can do it. Great job. Thank High you. High five. Thank you. Okay. All right. We hope you enjoyed this edition, first edition <laughs> yeah. of Celebrity, what are you calling this? Match, match game. game. Celebrity Match Game. We'll have another one. I'm sure at some point this was a lot of fun, especially since I came big old winner. <laughs> you, got you got 14 out of 15. I mean, I'm, I'm that's a huge win, that's considering right. I'm really not good at this. Your clues helped a lot. You're yep. very good at that. Okay. We hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Welcome to the Christmas season. Party party five and a half, over and out. We'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh